All right, so how do you approach job loss? The first thing you need to understand about job loss is this. You will be okay. You will be okay. You were looking for this job that you just lost at some point, and you got that job, right? So looking for another job, isn't it just as likely to find one than it is to not find one? You will find another job. But the bigger picture is, why did this happen? Not why did this happen on like an economic level or am I a good worker? I didn't get along with my boss or any of that stuff. Not why did this happen mechanically? Why did this happen spiritually? Remember, <clears throat> things like jobs are temporary. You are eternal. A job even if it's in your career, is still a house of cards because you build your internal security from the outside world through a job. If you lose your job and you feel the insecurity of not having a safety net or a paycheck or someone looking out for you, then you can tell your insecurity or your just security is built outside of you. When you build security outside of you, the universe will always come down, come to knock your house of cards down. It will come bump the table to destroy your world because you're building security from the outside, which is not ever conducive to your evolution. You must build it from the inside, and maybe this happened for that purpose. So the first thing we need to understand is that A, you'll find another job. But B, we need to start shifting perception around this. Because maybe what if, what if this job loss, job loss is the perfect thing for your evolution and growth? What if it's the perfect thing to open some new door you don't expect? What if some new opportunities coming along? If you're freaking out about the job loss, you won't even see a new opportunity because you'll be too consumed by scarcity and fear. Think of job loss like this. Think of it like quicksand. The more you freak out and struggle, the more you struggle in the quicksand, the faster you sink. Because you're not going to find effective solutions from stressed out. You're going to find effective solutions from calm, centered energy, thinking with abundance, connected to your inner guidance, connected to your heart and listening to your heart. So how I would approach job loss is first understand that this is all happening for you. You will find another job. But then ask myself, what do I really want? Because obviously I could go get another job doing the same exact thing somewhere else. But is that job fulfilling to my soul? And if not, isn't this the perfect opportunity to shift directions and not continue to do something that doesn't align with my higher self or doesn't excite me? Why would you do something that doesn't excite you with life? I got to get a job. Like, why would we approach it that way? If you think of it as an opportunity to do something new, then job loss isn't scary, it's exciting. If you knew you couldn't fail, if you knew there was always enough money to get you to the next opportunity, would you be freaking out? And the answer is no. So how do we shift perception to see this job loss is happening for you? How do we see this as a door closed and another one's opening somewhere else? We start by knowing you, you've always gotten a job, you've always figured out how to pay your bills, you will figure it out again. Like, rely on your self-reliance, first of all, to calm yourself down. I've always had a job, I've always figured out how to make money, there's always more time to make money tomorrow. I was looking for a job when I found this one, right? You calm yourself down, and then you look at it from not a practical standpoint, practicality and and being realistic gets people boring ass lives, okay? You take a step back and you look at it from a spiritual standpoint. What is in alignment with my soul? What is fulfilling to me? What is my heart's calling? What am I put on this earth to do? What is gonna wake me up and excite me? Can I make money doing what I love? The answer is always yes to that, but if you have been programmed to believe the otherwise, you're not gonna believe it if I say it, and that's fine. So, First, start by knowing that you can always find another job. 
and then approach it with, what do I really want to do? If I could find something that lit me up and excited me and made me love my life and love getting out of bed in the morning for the same exact money or even a little bit less money than I was making, wouldn't that be the direction I want to go in? Not what everybody else is doing, not what everybody else wants for me, not just to pay the bills. We didn't come to earth to just pay bills. We didn't come to this planet just to pay the bills. Life isn't about just paying bills. So you will always find a way to make money. So why wouldn't you do what you love to do? Why wouldn't you do what excites you? Why wouldn't you follow your heart? Questions to ask when you approach looking for another job. I hope that helps. Remember always that you can do anything. Why not be doing this some, something you love to do? See you next time. Mm -hmm.